Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today is day four, yes, four of my marathon, my We Hit 2K on Candy Kinks YouTube channel, marathon, whatever. I didn't really give it a name, that's what I'm gonna say right now, but I have a giveaway going on, so if you have not entered that giveaway, I will have it in the cards and linked down below. I'm giving away some natural hair products as a Thank you guys so, so much for 2K. So this video is going to be my natural hair at nighttime routine. I've done a couple different videos on how I re-moisturize and take care of my hair at night, blah, blah, blah. I just like to feel it and I feel if it needs me to add product or not. Basically what I'm trying to say. I feel it and I see if it feels super dry, if it needs product or just water and oil. I look crazy. <laughs> so. I feel like right now I just need some good old water and oil so I will not be putting any cream in my hair tonight. I like to assess my hair, I don't want to over saturate it with stuff and it needs to be washed soon so I'm not going to sit here and put a bunch of product into it. So definitely feel your hair and see how it feels. My hair um, is not super moisturized but yeah. It's alright. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with this water and oil mixture that I got at Natural Tresses Salon in Orlando. The woman there, she makes her own products and I've had this for a long time. I use it on occasion. I'll use this, I'll use water, or I'll use some other hair refreshing sprays that I have. I usually just use water and aloe vera juice. Um, but tonight I found this in my stash and I was like, hey, I love this stuff. And it smells so good. So this is like water, essential oils, and aloe. So she knows what she's doing, she knows what she's doing. The writing is kind of rubbed off, so I'm not even gonna show you guys up close because you can't really read it. So I just spray my hair. Because this stuff, it comes out in very, it's very light. It's not heavy, so my hair will not be soaking wet with this. I love to do the perimeter. Because, you know, when you're pulling and moving your hair around, the perimeter of your hair can get janky, you know. So, my hair should have some more movement. It should be softer and fluffier now. And I'll just spray until I'm happy. That must have been like, what, 20 to 30 spritzes of this stuff. Just water, aloe, and essential oil. And my hair is definitely way more movable and softer. So now to seal in that moisture, I'm going to use my favorite oil mixture. Um, and that's the main choice, Ancient Egyptian Gold Oil. You can use whatever oil you want. This one, the main ingredient is what? What's the main ingredient in this? Kalahari watermelon seed oil, soybean oil, castor oil, almond oil, just an oil blend. This stuff is bomb. So I'll use like a teaspoon and I'll just rub it all over the ends first, very lightly to get my ends nice. And I'll do the perimeter. And then I'll do the praying method. This is literally what I do, guys. Like I'm not, this is what I do at night. If it's my hair is like day two, day three, twist out, I just retwist. I don't do any of this. But we are talking about like day seven <laughs> for me and my hair right now. So this girl, she is holding on for dear life. Let me just shut up. I'm talking so much, okay? <laughs> so now that, and I like to rub it through my scalp a little bit. If you like to use scalp oils, you can just do a little scalp rub. This could be the time to massage your scalp and stimulate that growth, honey. And now I just begin to pull sections. I do not do small twists, especially now that the hair has like virtually no definition and I'm just doing this to maintain moisture and maintain the stretch. I don't twist small sections. So this is what I, this is like a pretty big section, right? It's a big section. So I'll take that and I'll just like twist. I'll finger detangle a little bit, pull out any shed hairs, but I'm really not focusing too, too, too much on detangling because I'm going to wash my hair probably tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. I'm busy. 
So, <laughs> twist it down. And that's it. And I probably will put, I don't know, like 10 twists in my head. So uh, this video, right now we're at six minutes, but I've been talking and if I wasn't talking, it would have been way, way faster. So I probably do my nighttime routine in 10 to 15 minutes. Um, if I have to add cream or like a styler, then it might take a little bit longer, but it never takes more than like 20 minutes. So, um, and people say natural hair takes a lot out of them. Wash day, my wash, they take some time, but I record almost every wash day a new video, so that's you takes my time up. But even that, like wash day will be for me Saturdays, and I go to work, I come back from work at like four o'clock, and I'll record a watch like a video in two hours, you know, hour and a half, depending. You guys can see that like I'm pulling the hair in a motion to pull out any shed hairs, and I'm also putting my thumb through the section to d detangle a little bit. And I'm not pulling the hair out, I'm just gently doing this. And the oil and water definitely helps with that process because my hair virtually is like really soft right now and easy to manipulate. And look how shiny these twists are. My hair is dirty. My hair is dirty, okay? And look how shiny these twists are. All about that oil, baby. Okay, guys, so I have 10 twists in my head. They're very, very big, chunky twists, as you guys can see. So what I'll do now is I just braid it down to my head. So I'm just grabbing each twist and literally making like a cornrow, braiding it down. And I have two braids, two moisturized sections. This is not for out, outer wear, obviously, this is for bedtime. I have two <laughs> braids, and then I'll put on my satin bonnet. I don't know if this is a tip, but I wear my satin bonnet inside out because this little section right here, I feel like it is not good for my edges. So I wear it like this. So I wear the smoother part, which is the outer part. I wear it like this. And I just put it on. Cause I feel like that little section can mess up my edges. And yeah, guys, I just put on my bonnet inside out <laughs> and go to bed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow on day five of the Can of Kinks YouTube marathon. <laughs> Oh God, it looks so crazy. Yeah, yeah. Spending all of my days and all of my races trying to get laid. Watching all of my homies chill with they shorties since the fifth grade. Guess that's part of my story. Don't you feel sorry? Least I get.